We might get a better look at that okapi as we come around this curve and we can look off to our right hand side. Yeah, there he is. What? A little bit better look right at there. it back there. Oh. Straight ahead. That bush, though. Anything? <laughs> no. Now off to our left there, that is a black rhino. Fully grown, get up to 3,000 pounds, and they do yeah, have a charging speed of 35 miles per hour. Now unfortunately, the black rhino is a very rare sight. There's less than 5,000 left in the entire world. That does include the ones in Zeus. That's because they are being poached for their horns, which are just made out of keratin. The exact same thing that our fingernails are made out of. Also to our left, the top of the hill there, those copper colored oh, antelope oh, oh. are bongo, also known as the ghosts of the forest because they are so rarely seen. Now their horns are tilted backwards on their heads, that is to help them get through the thick underbrush of the forest rather quickly, it does help them get away from their predators. Now we are exiting the forest and heading up towards the Saudi River, which is pretty great because as I would like to say, the closer we are to water, the closer we are to animals. So let's go see what we can find. <laughs> hand side are some pink backed pelicans. They do get that name because during mating season their backs do turn a pinkish color and they are colonial nesters. They're known to nest with up to 500 pairs. Are you really taking <laughs> you're just in the holding, so I didn't know you, you were. Now, also coming up on our left hand side, you can see those Nile crocodile. They do average in 16 feet in length from the tip of their nose to the ends what? of their tail. Oh, and they are known oh, to eat larger animals what? like zebra or wildebeest, but they do mainly stick to fish. Because that is the easier prey, and they are rather lazy animals. So big ones. But those jaws do have a crushing force. some of Africa's more iconic animals, like giraffes, elephants, and ostrich. If we get lucky, we might even get to see a cheetah or a lion. So do keep those fingers crossed. Now the savannah does act as a bit of a super highway for millions of migratory so animals big. who do move from place to place to find new sources of food and water. Now this is all just a part of the wild Africa. We're all working so very hard to maintain and protect. Now wow. up ahead of us will be to our right hand so side. We're going to see some cattle with huge horns called Ancoli cattle. They're also known as Watusi cattle because they were first domesticated by the Watusi tribe. Now those horns can grow to be about three to four feet in length each. And the horns are actually hollow inside with a bit of a honeycomb-like structure. So they don't sit very heavy on top of that cow's head. We'll get a closer look as we do move forward a bit. Snake. It's cows with a big head and big horns. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Now these cows are not meant for food, labor, or dairy. They are actually used as a symbol of status. So the more you feed the cattle that you have, the richer you are. I just I want to see the piece. Or maybe another one. Now coming up ahead, we'll be to our left hand side. A little bit farther back, you're going to see some dark brown antelope laid down called single antelope. They are the official emblem of the reserve. That's because they are very resilient animals. They never back down from a fight. That is what we believe here in Harambe, that we should never back down from a fight to protect the animals. Double giraffes way back there. The trees are to our left hand as well. Now giraffes are the tallest living land animals in the world. They can get up to 20 feet tall when fully grown. But they do get a bit of a head start. Now when they're born, they are around 6 feet tall. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, this is Zoli. He's walking in front of us. Yeah. Now giraffes do have 18 inch long prehensile tongues to help them pluck the leaves off of trees. That is pretty much how they spend the majority of their day just eating. Now they don't require all that much sleep, just about 30 minutes to 2 hours per day. They don't take that all at once, they do take quick power naps throughout the day. So then they're always aware of predators. They usually only sleep about five minutes at a time. Aww. Mm -hmm. Now when they do 